Hey guys, um, I was going to tell you to ignore like what I've gone on on my face here, what I've got going on on my face here. However, I thought, you know what, this is a good teaching moment because this is what happens when you're lazy and you don't wash your face before bed a couple times and your face decides to rebel and you get lovely things happening. So that's what that is. But that's not what this video is about, but that's just a little public service announcement. Wash your face before bed. <laughs> anyway, um, today's video is about my hair. This this is what I've got, guys. This is what I work with. Um, I am coloring it back to my color that's more my natural color, which is a dark brown. And it pulls like a little bit of reddish, always has. And so um, I do go with a golden toned um, hair dye because of that. But um, anyway, I, I'm going to show you. You can't, I mean, it's not terrible right now, my roots. We actually, I don't even know if you can see them in the, they go to about right here. Yeah, I think you can see them because my hair is dark like that. This is a lighter um, color that I had on for like summer, which was light golden brown. I used the Ion um, permanent hair color from Sally Beauty Supply. And this is medium golden brown. That's what I usually do my hair, but I was doing light for summer. And um, mostly because my mom harasses me about, your hair is too dark, it looks too dark. Only my hair is dark. And so I don't know why, but I tried to like appease her, but um, I hate it because it just, then I can see when my roots grow out and it's more maintenance and that just drives me crazy. So um, I'm going back to my color that I normally do and I can go a lot longer between colors. You'll start to see my grays pop out and stuff, but that's not as noticeable as like my roots getting dark. I can't stand that. So anyway. I'm going to be coloring my hair so when I come back you will see my hair will be colored and also I'm going to show you I have very thin hair and people are like oh your hair doesn't look that thin this okay so I have it all pulled around this is what I've got this is what I've got this is my hair it is very very thin I cannot do like a ponytail I'll show you like if I try to put my hair in a ponytail it's just like this stringy like terrible rat tail it's horrible my hair is very thin um also in the back i have to be when i do my hair i have to be really um like strategic about how i brush things and tease things to keep it from being able to see just how thin my hair is i mean my hair is thin and people try to tell me it's not let me tell you i live with it every day it's thin but i'm glad people don't think it is because i work hard to try to make it not look thin However, my hair is very long right now. The last time I cut it, I had trimmed, I think, almost three inches off of it sometime in the winter. Um, and I've let it grow, which I usually do in the summer. I let it grow because I have it pulled up all the time anyway. So I'm like, whatever. And then in the fall, I, you know, trim it or try to trim it um, and just give it more that healthy look when I'm going to start wearing my hair down more. And I do wear extensions. I will link that up here. Um, not all the time, not the majority of the time, but anytime I just want to Anytime I'm going somewhere really or anything and just want to feel more confident about my hair, I do wear extensions. So yeah, I'll link that video up there in case you haven't seen it. Um, but I'm going to show you how long my hair is right now and the scraggle mess that it is. So I'm going to brush through it real quick. I did um, straighten it so that, because my hair has natural, just like weird wave to it. It's not pretty. And it's very frizzy, as you can see. Um, but I'm going to show you how long my hair is right now and how unevenly it grows. And um, so you'll have an idea when I'm done. So let me go ahead and stand so you can see where my hair hits. So it is, I mean, it's long right now. So my head is straight and that is where my hair is hitting. Now you can see how thin and there's like a section that looks thinner than the rest because I, I think it was about an, a year and a half or more ago. Um, got my hair, I don't know what possessed me to do this, but I decided to get some layers cut into it because I thought it would just give me more, I don't know, dimension to my hair. Bad idea on my thin hair because it just made then the longer layers look thinner. And so um, I have that whole section that just looks especially thin, which is what I'm going to be trying to get rid of. So I'm sad to cut my hair off because I do like it being really long. And when I have my extensions in, it'll still be like that anyway. But um but I do like having my hair be really long, but I don't like what it's like right now. And I can't wear it straight or anything right now, especially because it just looks scraggly, like you could see. So um, I am going to be coloring my hair, and then I will be 
cutting off probably a good, I mean, I'm probably going to take it right about here to get rid of that um, layer that is super scraggly. So I'm going to go ahead and color my hair and then I'll come back and we will cut it together. I'll show you how I cut it by myself because if I'm just having my hair long and like trimming the bottom off, I'm not going to go pay to have it done. There's no sense in doing that, especially since I don't pay to go get it colored either. So, um, so yeah, when I come back, my hair will be colored and we'll cut it together. Okay, so my hair is colored. I'm fresh out of the shower. I just parted it down the middle and put it in these two um, little stringy ponytails that I got. And we're gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna brush it out really good to make sure that there's no knots in there. Things are nice and straight. I use a wet brush. You should only use a wet brush on wet hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a second ponytail holder and I'm gonna put it on here. And I'm going to do it nice and tight. So I have it done up real good and tight. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. So now I have it on both sides. I'm going to stand up and show you. Here is where my hair goes down to right now. But I think I'm going to have to cut it right about here to take off the part that's really yucky, which makes me so sad. I don't want to cut my hair so much, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide these down to where I want to cut. Make sure that they're pretty even, okay? And then what I'm going to do is, I should get out my hair cutting scissors and get yourself hair cutting scissors, not just random weird scissors. Um, and I'm going to cut right below. So I want to make sure though that these are the same spot. Okay. Looks pretty even. And I'm going to cut right below this. Oh, look at look at all that hair that's gonna come off. I mean, I realize it's not a lot of hair because it's stringy, but it's a long length. Okay, so I'm gonna go here first. Okay, so we've got this here. And now I'm gonna go to this side, and then I'm gonna get in the same spot on this side. Okay, so there's my few inches of hair there that's coming off of each side. So, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. And then once I dry my hair and everything, I'll be able to see if that's where I want to leave it or if I want to um, do something differently. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out of here. Ah! Seems so short. But I know it's going to look better. All right. So that kind of gives you an idea of where it's laying now. Now I might find some long stragglers that I'm going to um, trim up a little bit. The beauty about it being long and stuff is that it's not like an exact, like it's not a big deal unless you have like a super obvious that's going crazy, but like otherwise it's not usually. So see, it's evenly kind of because of the way it was pulled. So I'll be able to tell once I dry it and stuff if I want to change any of that at all. Um, this right here though is kind of bugging me. So I'm going to take that. But otherwise, it's pretty evenly. All right, so I will come back with it dried and we'll look at it at the back 
to see what the length's like, where it's looking, all that good stuff. And here's the finished product. I feel so much better having my hair color back. I have dark brown hair and it just feels good to have it back. I feel like me. <laughs> so I'm glad that I went ahead and did it. Um, this is what, if I have it all pulled forward, it looks like this, which I don't really wear my hair straight very much because it is so thin and it just doesn't look very nice to have it straight. But, um, you know, sometimes. And then let me show you the back. So the back is like this. And this is what it's like now. So you can see it was down like right here. And so now it's up here, which, I mean, I took quite a bit off. Um, but I might even end up taking a little bit more later. We'll see. I kind of just, I like to do it step by step because otherwise I might freak out if I cut too much at once. But um, it does feel so much better and already looks so much better. So um, that is how I color. Well, you've seen before how I color my hair. I'll put a link up here to it if you want to see. Um, and But that's how I trim my hair at home. Cut it. Because I guess it's cutting it. Um, here's my little sections here of hair that I cut off. <laughs> so... Even though it's thin and scraggly, it was quite a bit of length when, you know, when you saw it all together on my head. So, um, but yeah, but I am loving it and I feel so much better. So, on to fall.